Hello everyone, welcome back to Tankers Club and to your daily dose of World of Tanks Blitz. Today we got again a great offer, we have to talk about it. The AMX Chasseur de quoi? Chasseur de Char, that means, um, yeah, tanks. Chasseur means, uh, how to say, um, hunting. The tanks hunter let's say like this if you are going to translate it chasseur de char so this tank is very dynamic uh, combat vehicle of course he's very fast this tank is very fast as you can see maximum of speed great rotation paper armor the gun is not bad um and that doesn't um play a big role uh, if the, the gun is not the perfect gun because we don't have a very good penetration with this tank or we are going to use calibrated shells even with calibrated shells uh, we will have some penetration problems especially while playing against tier 9 heavy tanks or tank destroyers it's going to be very hard to pen from the front but we are um, a medium tank i call this tank a light tank always because we for me, it's not a medium tank. There is some medium tanks with better armor. This tank just have a paper armor with speed. It's for me like the RU 251 or um, the German light tank. But uh, officially, this tank is a medium tank, okay? But whatever. Um, we don't need to rely on this tank, uh, on this gun, or to rely on the armor. But we have to surround always the enemy tanks. We have to spot with this tank uh, the enemy tanks for our team. We have good hit points. We can make also good damage. We have up to uh, 2,400 DPM, if I'm not mistaken, and for 6,500 gold to get the legendary camouflage, to get two collectible containers, 15 pieces um, of certificates to get time five more crew combat and free XP. And the tank is completely upgraded. It's really not bad at all. Not a bad deal. A good deal for 6,500 gold to get this tank and add it to your garage collection. I got this tank right now in my garage. And what I want to say is we have really a great TPM for a tier 8 medium tank. 2.4k TPM is already OP and better than the most of the tier 8 medium tanks and also light tanks. Um, it's already in, in category, yeah, uh, let's say OP for, for in point of damage and point of hit points, but also in point of speed. And the accuracy of the gun is also great. So it's a great tank, dynamic tank, very fast tank, but we have to know how to play with it. So about the equipment, I'm using, of course, NGN Accelerator. Um, yeah, uh, for to, to, we are going to spot to improve optics, high end consumables to have um, longer adrenaline while shooting. And the defense system, more hit points, is bullshit to use enhanced armor because we have only 30 mm of armor. So to add 4%, you will have, I don't know, 32 mm of armor. So that doesn't make any sense. Anyone is going to pen you anyway. So that's why you get the improved assembly. Always, let's say it's a rule for medium or light tanks, get always the improved assembly. Or for heavy tank with bad uh, armor. The improved, uh, the enhanced armor is only effective if you are playing with heavy tank, which has anyway very very good armor like the vk like the object 252 u like the e100 like the mouse um like the is7 so if you take improved assembly you are going to be nearly unpenetrable especially from the front for a lot of tanks that's why it makes sense if you have i don't know 250 and you add four percent that makes a difference because you're, you are going to add your armor that, i don't know maybe about 12 12 millimeter of uh steel and that makes a difference and some tanks um, even with APCL shell are going then um, not able to pen you but if you have a paper armor that doesn't make any sense just um, wanted, wanted to talk about it and um, yeah gun rama or calibrated shells I use gun rama because I'm always in any way going to surround the enemy tanks with this tank so from the side or from the rear it's gonna be easy to pen anyone without calibrated shells so this is my play style um, enhanced gun laying drive we have already good shell velocity and the refound gun for better penetration uh, for better accuracy sorry um provision i take uh so café et croissant et le carne pâté et uh le uh, improved fuel okay that's it about french and um yeah that's it i would say oh what we have to mention about this tank enough talking the rest is you need only skills with this tank i got a nice battle replay with this tank to show you how to play correctly with it so let's go let's jump to the battlefield so yeah the amx tdc liberty we got two strong teams here and um, something to mention if you are playing with a light player i'm already talking with my team i'm gonna spot i need support 
playing with a light tank is really very tricky always that's why playing with light tank i say it always it's the champions league because it's not easy because um, we have here piper armor like most of the light tanks i call this tank light tank even it's a medium tank we have because i just have a paper armor i don't, I don't call this tank medium tank i mean come on um 30 uh, millimeter armor is nothing so we have to play very careful spot for your team be patient till the end because uh, you don't want to take a lot of shots because you are a magnet for the enemy tanks. If you show yourself a few seconds, they will all shoot at you and they will finish you very fast. That's why what I'm doing here, I'm looking at the minimap, I see my teammates are not pushing with me so I decided to completely um, yeah, cancel my moves, go completely back because I don't want to die very fast. That doesn't mean that I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm camping or I'm fearing the enemies, but it's just logic or logic uh, not willing to die in a few seconds and uh, staying alive means doing more damage, means more credits, means uh, a better chance through the battle and if you are playing rating battles, means more rating points. So yeah, I decided to cancel completely my move, I spot for my teammates and they didn't um, help me a lot, uh, so now I decided to attack the object. 50 to you and help Emil and Burak to finish him very fast. So now we are outnumbering the enemy team. And thanks to my speed, so that's why you can play like this. With this tank, we can do it with a heavy tank or a tank destroyer because they are very slow. With this tank, you, you, you are incredibly fast. So always try to surprise the enemy tanks, try to always spot for your team. You don't have always to rush on them and be destroyed very fast. It's enough even just to spot uh, the enemy team's uh, tanks for your team. And uh, with that, you're going to help uh, your team a lot to win the battle. Of course, you want to make some damage, but uh, the damage or the shots with this tank gotta be always sneaky from distance. Or, for example, if you can surround a tank destroyer or a very slow heavy tank, we can do it also. But you need also for that, uh, for that the experience which tank we can um, surround and which tank we can't surround but uh, with some experience uh, while playing with light tanks you will know that uh, in the beginning you're gonna fail you're gonna be destroyed maybe but after that i'm already talking with my team be patient because uh, some of my teammates saying um, we are camping or not moving but i saw the better situation the better option was to make sure that you're going to win the battle. That's why I captured base B before rushing on the enemy tanks because I made the experience a lot of times that uh, in such situation we even lost the battle. And now I'm saying they will do a mistake, be patient. And I was waiting for a mistake and a mistake. Of course, the Shimera did a huge mistake, showing himself from me like that, taking APC air shells, making sure to pen him. And then now I'm seeing that the Type 59 is pushing on me, so I have to run away from here. You want to finish me? I don't want to face him 1v1 because there is a high risk that he's going to finish me or he's going to be unlucky. I missed his shot. I, did, I calculated very fast. I didn't want to go in, in that situation, but I decided to rush on the WZ. Here we go. He missed his shot. And here with the, the help of the M1, always think as a team player, we finished the WZ and we won the battle. The battle can always um, or could always go completely in the other way if I was egoistic and I wasn't a team player. We could also lose this battle. That's why I want to show you here how to play with a light tank. And even I didn't make a lot of uh, damage. Uh, we got 60k credits. So this tank is a great credit maker, money maker. And with only 1.2k damage. And look at this guy, why I got the second uh, badge mastery class because my damage with assistance I spotted a lot of enemy tanks from my team I cleared a lot of enemy tanks and uh, you are going to be rewarded for that effort and um, It's also easy to get mastery classes. That means win more credits It's not always only with direct damage But also by especially the only way to get the first class or ace tank a mastery badge with a light tank or the easiest way is not making damage but assisting your team um, that's why it's very important to, if you are playing with lighting, only to spot assist your team. Don't think always damage and you have to push and rush very hard. But in the beginning, just to spot, hide behind the hill, go spot, go back, go to the other side. You are fast, you have enough speed, so always try to spot for your team and be an all-rounder. And with that, your team going for sure to destroy so enemy tanks. And you will thank to your assistance 
the you will create the situation that your team will be out neighboring your enemy tank and then it's for you very very much more easier for a light tank just to rush on then um, heavy uh, slow heavy tanks or tank destroyers and steroid them and then you're going to be able to make your damage and also get some credits get some rating points in my case and yeah that's it about this video guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope now you have a better idea how to play with the amx cdc you have a better idea if it is, if it's going to be worth it or not for you to buy this tank in my opinion this is really a great offer a good tank in the right hands if you know how to play with it this tank is a beast is great i um, telling all the time a light tank even I know it's uh, this is a medium tank but for me this tank is just a light tank with uh, a lot of hit points and that's it because we have no armor we have nothing we have speed but yeah um, officially this tank is a medium tank so yeah stay tuned guys um, stay safe and see you for sure in the next video bye bye